Hey guys, Music Man here, and now I'm going to be experimenting with a new type of video. I'm going to be showing you all some of the uh, spawn points for Sacred Heart Hospital. I'm going to walk through each one individually and what you should do when you get each individual spawn. So, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, I've got my stylus with me, and now we're going to start taking a look at the uh, spawn groups in order. Uh, so first I'm going to go ahead and define my area so that you all can follow along really nicely. So this over here, this area here, this is going to be shack. There's also a gate over here. I'm going to call this shack gate. Um, and then there's this area here. This is like two pallet area. Um, let's see. Uh, this area right here. Uh, I call this one Crappy Corner. Some other YouTubers have a few more uh, colorful names for this area because uh, you literally you just have like that um, that little T wall with the one window in the back right over there. Um, but overall, this is like if you catch a survivor in here, unless they're a rescuer, it should be a relatively easy down. So uh, this right here, I'm going to be calling this area Forest. Um, so that's right there, um, and let's see, let's pick another color here, uh, sure, let's go with that. I'm gonna call this area here, this is with, like, the, um, statue there, I'm gonna call this area statue, or I sometimes call it area six palette. Um, of course, we've got, uh, ruins, uh, ruins is right here. Ruins is a very strong kiting area for survivors, so you want to avoid that area when it's possible. And then, of course, uh, uh, this area in the middle here is hospital, and this is uh, survivors' favorite places to go because um, you've got like that two-story there, and it's just overall very super overpowered area for survivors. Uh, with this sort of area right here, there's a lot of broken things you can do with Cowboy and with Priestess uh, to sort of exploit that area. So now that I've defined my terms here, oh yeah, and this I'll refer to as Backgate right there. That's Backgate. So let me undo all this right here. So now let's take all these spawn groups in order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and define each spawn point here. So this is spawn group one, hunter spawns forest here. And we can see we have survivors ruins, two in ruins, one in hospital, and one in crap corner. So I think you can pretty much use deductive reasoning to figure out where I would recommend you to go first. So I recommend you go um, over like this area. Uh, obviously take a more direct route. Than that you're gonna want to sort of come in a way that sort of pushes them um, away uh, from away from hospital you don't want them to come to hospital um, and that's pretty much the one big thing now look they're gonna try to go to let me see if I can draw it here uh, this area here there's two pallets here that they can loop for a little while around and if they catch you in the wrong way uh, they'll have free access to hospital and if they make it to hospital especially if it's a priestess or something it's pretty much game over there because um, this survivor is going to start doing a route that's sort of around this way and if he like pallet stuns you or anything that gives him free access to hospital and he'll be able to wreak havoc there so you do want to uh, come in such a way that the survivor doesn't have, uh, if they don't predict you right away, they don't have access to hospital there. And obviously if this becomes the Merc, um, if you have, a, you can check to see who's going to be um, decoding. If this cipher spawns middle here, I'll use yellow for ciphers here. If this, uh, if a survivor starts decoding there right away, um, then it's going to be really... Uh, uh, you, if you've got like a Wu Chang or another hunter where you're carrying teleport, you can sort of maybe act like you're not going to go that way until like your teleportation ability um, undoes. And then you can just sort of um, swing over to this cipher here. Um, if, you, if it's like a mechanic or something, you might want to do that. Um, but unfortunately, that means that uh, the other survivors here are either going to be at Shack, they're going to be at Ruins here, or... When, whenever that cipher spawns will be in that area too 
which obviously if you're not uh, if you're a bloody queen you can work with ruins but I would say any other hunter you just want to avoid this area entirely because they'll, they'll, they'll kite you there okay I think that pretty much uh, sums it up for spawn point number one so now let's take a look at spawn point number two which is in um which is where you spawn ruins oh let me get out here yep you can see spawn group two and let me go to my edit here my annotation tools okay so we can see oh wait no not not ruins my bad ruins is spawn group three uh spawn group two this is where you spawn statue so hunter spawns statue and what I do here is I make a direct route uh, to forest there. And this survivor, um, depending on where the cipher locations are at, there will be possibly a cipher here. Um, they could be going here. Or if they know they're coming, this survivor is going to run over this way. No matter what happens, um, there's a good chance that uh, you'll be able to see that survivor right away. Now, sometimes they might hide. There's not much you can do about that, but um, this survivor is most likely going to take this kiting route right there. That's where I find that the survivor goes to the most, which ends up running him into the other survivor here. This survivor is probably going to make his way over to either here or here as this uh, survivor decides where he wants to decode because... As a hunter, if you're going down this way, that ciphers out of the question. Um, and you're only going to be able to push that survivor that way. Um, unless you do something horribly wrong and the survivor ends up making it all the way to... Oop, wrong color there. Makes it to this two pallet here. Of course, then he might have a chance at making it to a hospital. But I say, um, generally with this spawn, it, it's a safe bet to try to... Um, go after this survivor right here and if that ends up being a mercenary then obviously we can we you saw underneath that there was another survivor right under there under all my scribbles that uh, you also have possibilities to target to and then of course if worse comes to worse than like there's a mind's eye or something uh, this survivor is gonna probably either be decoding shack or ruins whenever ruins spawns and this survival will ob obviously be here at hospital or the second story of hospital um, but i would say one thing that you'll find with these spawns is i hardly ever would recommend uh, going to shack first unless you hear like an auditory cue that the mind's eyes there or something i would say you don't you, you want to stay away from shack because you come in from this direction, this survivor will be tra will transition right away through the entrance of hospital. But if you, oh, let me undo that there. If you come through um, this way, and I know that doesn't apply to this spawn, but for future spawns, you come through this way, the survivor's gonna be able to transition to ruins that way. So you wanna stay away from that either. Um, so I think that pretty much sums it up for spawn group two. Uh, let me just, there we go. Now we're going to go to spawn group three. So spawn group three is the ruin spawn. Um, you can see we spawn ruins here. So uh, ruin spawn is a tricky one because, uh, so there are really two ways that I would either recommend doing this. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make my way, make a sweep along here. So I'll come around to either this cipher, this cipher, or this cipher, or um, uh, around back when it spawns. But usually this survivor is going to start making his way either there or there, or start swinging around back. Um, now, if you're like... Uh, if you're a non-meta hunter that doesn't have access to a, a lot of mobility, you you can also, I would say probably equally justify, especially if the survivor isn't the mercenary, that can kind of put you in a little dilemma there. Because either the, you have, at that point, you have to chase this survivor that's in hospital here or two-story. Uh, 
yeah, those are ciphers, so they're in two story. But if you're a non meta hunter, go this way. So, because if you go this way, you'll be able to either, uh, you'll be able to see that survivor and that survivor. This one's likely to come over this way, um, and this survivor is likely to come over this way. So, if you're a hunter with low mobility, go to Shack. If you're a hunter like a Bloody Queen or a Wu Chang, or a dream witch i would say probably you're going to want to come over this way to this survivor right here um now obviously you want to be careful when you come to shack for reasons i explained before you come around back this survivor these survivors are going to go to hospital but you come around front uh, these survivors are going to want to go ruins so you got to be really careful about that um so just keep in mind of that. Um, but if you find both of the survivors at once, obviously you're going to want to go over the higher priority target, which would be the fastest decoder or the survivor uh, with less kiting potential, which usually lines up to be the same. So that's spawn group three. There are six spawn points in total. And oops. let's see, spawn group four is the other side of ruin. So and I call this one shack spawn. So, um, and actually, just as a side note, these are easy to remember um, because they're just kind of like the wheels of a clock. So, uh, spawn group one is of uh, four is spawn, two is statue, three is uh, ruins, four is obviously shack, uh, five ends up being uh, around here ish, and then six is in hospital. Um, oh wait, no, no, uh, five was right there. So the, they're basically wheels of a clock, which makes these spawns easy to memorize as a hunter. So uh, as I said right here, uh, you spawn a shack with spawn group four. And actually this one is probably one of the easiest um, spawn points to pick your targets in. So if you spawn here, there, this, there's nothing in this area here. It, it's all completely open. So you can, you actually have direct line of sight to that survivor there, which makes him really easy to keep track of. Now, if this survivor, uh, if you uh, keep track of him and he's going to this cipher there, I would say chase that. But if you see the survivor transition to hospital, what you do as a hunter then is obviously you're going to be going here for this portion of it but you see him go to hospital you go right over here to statue and statue is going to be your best chase from there on because you got this survivor which has a chance of coming here this survivor has a chance of coming here so um, there's like always a guaranteed chance that a survivor is either going to be either right there or right there and those are um, decent uh, chases for you to go to and then it's obviously easy to memorize that there's always a survivor in hospital except when you spawn in hospital with spawn group six um, but yeah that's pretty much a summary of spawn group four so you can see uh, the, the ciphers that you leave alone are the ones way in the opposite corner these are also it's also relatively easy to memorize the uh, survivor spawn points because they're always going to be in areas that are about equal distance away from you. You can see this is about as close as this, this, and this. Um, and that's how they usually uh, spawn. Uh, that, that goes for any map, is that they spawn just about equal distance away. Um, but you can see that some obviously spawn in... Uh, harder to kite areas than others so that's spawn group four and with that we're going to go on to five so uh, spawn group five is where you spawn crap corner this would be probably my least favorite spawn because at this point you can see this survivor he can go anywhere um, there's not really a good chance for you to be able to go anywhere. This survivor spawns hospital, and the other two, you come here, they're going to go to ruins. So this is the worst 
hunter spawn for this map uh, is spawn group five and but out of all of these choices between going after a hospital cipher or a shack cipher i mean obviously you're going to want to go to shack but no matter what these survivors they're going to go to ruins this survivor by the time you get there unless if you're a Wu Chang, you could go after that but Either way, he still has easy access in the hospital. And no matter what you go to, these survivors as well uh, spawn in a good area here. But I would say uh, this would be the the one spawn. When you spawn Crap Corner, uh, where you really have to go to Shack. You, you're not given any other choice, unfortunately which means you are going to have to learn how to chase in ruins. But there's really not much more I can say about this spawn point. I mean, the spawn point kind of sucks. Whenever I get this spawn point, I'm like, oh, come on, the spawn again. Because I know I'm going to have to come around a shack and then eventually uh, do a ruins chase. But yeah, that's spawn group five. So now we're going to move on to the final spawn point. There's a little controversy around this one between me and other hunters that we chat about on what to do when you get this spawn point and I'll go over that in just a second so this is the one where you spawn hospital and we can see we've got survivor um, and forest we have one kind of between ruins and statue we got one in ruins and one in shack now what I recommend uh, or actually I should start with what other I've heard from other hunters so put that in orange so i've talked to other hunter mains and they've actually talked about um recommending going to shack so uh, i've heard other hunters that are top tier hunters that recommend going to shack first when you get this spawn to go right onto this cipher right here now the problem with that is obviously we want to avoid ruins chases whenever possible um, and at this point, this survivor would have free access to ruins there, which is kind of unfortunate, but, um, a lot, a lot of hunters prefer that to, um, some of the alternatives. Now, if, what I recommend is if you're a Wu Chang here, you can go after this survivor right there. Um, the only issue is you get to this survivor and it's, a uh, Merc. Look how far away you are from the other survivors. I mean, there's there's nobody else around, but you can justify that spawn. It, it just sucks if it's not the target you're looking for. Now, what I recommend doing here is I actually, um, the exit's about right here. I go around here, do a path kind of like this, go into statue or... Um, uh, kind of around like this if they um, are gonna go to ruins there if that um, if statue cipher doesn't spawn but whatever I do I'm gonna make my way out that exit and towards statue now um, statue is a way worse uh, kiting area than uh, over here at shack and over here in ruins because all they've got is that six pallets there which can hurt ripper mains um Gamekeeper mains. It's a little tough of an area for Anne, but not too shabby because she can stun through the pallets. But this survivor right here is going to be making uh, their way to that cipher right there. Or right there. And that's way more pleasant of a chase than going through to, uh, route to shack and working your way around the shack through this window right here. And they might loop you a little bit before going to shack and before you know it 60 seconds of the game have already passed and you just got your first hit or whatever you know but uh yeah i think that pretty much sums up all uh six spawn points if you have any questions uh i will be uh i will be checking my youtube i'll be looking out for those and answering those in the comment section below but i hope you all find this extremely helpful well, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want me to continue on with this series, let me know in the comment section below on what map you would like me to walk through the spawn points for next. And yeah, thanks for watching.